I consider it the cockroach of uh, mosquito species. They're always with you, you don't necessarily see them, and very, very hard to get rid of. When a mosquito's got Wolbachia in it, they're no longer susceptible to getting infected by these dengue viruses. So if the mosquito can't get dengue, then it can't transmit it between humans. The second trick that Wolbachia has is that it's able to invade or establish itself into a mosquito population by manipulating the mosquito reproductive outcomes. And what that means is that you only need to release a few mosquitoes in a community for Wolbachia to establish into all of the mosquitoes in that community and persist in those mosquitoes for, for many years and in fact probably decades. What we did with our partners in Jogjakarta was to take the city of Jogjakarta and divide it into 24 areas and 12 of those areas were randomly selected to receive Wolbachia into the local mosquito population. The other 12 continued with routine dengue control approaches. Over the course of that 27 months, what we, what we found at the conclusion of the study was a 77% reduction in the number of dengue cases when we compared Wolbachia treated neighbourhoods to untreated neighbourhoods. So Wolbachia was pro providing really substantial protection to local residents from getting dengue. What's really exciting for us going forward is putting Wolbachia right across the city of Jogjakarta, protecting the half a million people who live there, protecting the other half a million people who come into the city every day to work. We're really optimistic we might be able to achieve effective elimination of dengue as a public health problem in this city when the Wolbachia is deployed citywide. It's the first time an intervention against this mosquito has ever demonstrated success in controlling disease. There's a lovely aspect about community involvement with this approach. Community has been part and parcel of the Wolbachia deployment and part of the monitoring of Wolbachia frequencies in the mosquitoes and part of the public health um, measurement of, of success. And that will continue to be a critical part of the program's success, I think.